So you finally bagged yourself the big buck, got it home, and processed the meat out? Now, we're going to help you figure out what to do with the rest. Thanks for joining us. Last time, we did an easy seared steak. This time, we're going to try a reverse seared steak. It's a little fancier, and we're going to finish it with a seasoned butter. So what you're going to need for this one is a piece of meat, two to three pounds. We're using the dry edge piece off that roast cut, so why it looks all funky and black, and the fat looks all weird. It's been dry aging four weeks now. It's looking pretty good. You're also going to need some canola oil, two tablespoons of salt, and a teaspoon of pepper. Two tablespoons of minced garlic and a teaspoon of chives, four tablespoons of butter, and a teaspoon each of both thyme and sage. What we really want to do is start by trimming some of the drier sections off. So we're going to start on the end we were slicing the steaks off of the first time. You just want to do what we did, you know, keep your blade moving in the same direction, peel that off, and that's mostly dry through there. You want to be Generous with what you're cutting off if you're dry aging your steaks. Ooh, I'll probably grind some of that up into burger later. Just working around the outside of the steak now. Trying to just take the dry layer off, get the fat. Basically anything you wouldn't want to eat. This is a great time to take it off. So for a reverse sear steak, you want to work with the steak two inches or thicker. So we're just going to split this right in half for me and my wife. we go. There's our two thick steaks. Now that we've cleaned off the parts of these steaks that we don't want, we're going to go ahead and take our salt and pepper mixture and just salt and pepper it liberally. Make sure you get the ends, all the corners, anything that's going to be exposed because this is what's going to give you that nice sear crust later. Now we're going to go and put these two steaks on a rack and a 200 degree oven for 45 minutes. The idea behind a reverse sear is that the oven's going to bring the steaks to temperature and then we're going to put the sear on the outside. The reverse of what we did last time. When you've got about five minutes left, you can start preheating your cast iron pan. We've got the heat on high. We're just going to go ahead and put our oil in the pan. Let it warm up to just below its smoke point. We want the oil hot enough to just where it's about smoking. So when we put it in, we know that the steaks are going to get a good sear. So our oil is just starting to bubble and smoke. Our timer went off and we checked the internal temperature of our steaks at 125 for medium rare. And go ahead and get those steaks out of the oven. Now we're going to transfer our steaks from the rack to the pan to get a good sear on them. Just going to go ahead and let those sear for about one minute on each side. We're using canola oil instead of olive oil because it has a much higher smoke point so we can get the pan a lot hotter and get a better sear on there without overcooking the meat. So after a minute we're going to give them a flip. Got that nice dark brown crust on both of them. And now that we've flipped them, we're going to go ahead and add our butter and our seasonings to the pan.
You just want to stir it around, get the butter all melted in with the oil and the little bit of fat from the meat. Get all that seasoning mixed in. Okay, now we're going to flip the steaks again. Check out that sear. Ooh. Now that we've got them flipped, we're going to baste them a little bit. Just take a spoon and spoon a bunch of that butter and garlic right over top of it. After about a solid minute of basting, you're just going to go ahead and flip them over. And baste that other side. After they've been thoroughly basted on both sides, go ahead and remove them to a plate to rest. While it's resting, this is a good time to uh, make use of the rest of that butter. Because while it's resting, all it's going to do is suck all of that back in. Give it about five minutes and we'll cut into it and let you see it. And there she is, our four week dry aged, reverse seared, finished in butter, two inch thick steak. Look at that, a little pink. Super tender and moist, easy to cut through. Oh, the dog knows that I have steak. Oh, delicious. So we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe down there somewhere. You know, follow along for more recipes. This has been MI Adventure Life in the kitchen. Field to table. Thanks for watching, guys.